most definitely deemed a terrible day here in Oak Creek. Approximately an hour ago during a news conference, law enforcement crediting local law enforcement with stemming this lethal threat, essentially saying that the person who shot this gunman prevented additional bloodshed. And in this particular situation, that is exactly what these officers have been trained to do. The FBI, the ATF, now part of this ongoing investigation. And for now, we should say that a house of worship is now for the moment being called a crime scene. The only people for the most part going in and out are investigators. The FBI will be handling the criminal investigation on this incident. Heavily armed officers gather outside the scene of a multiple shooting that took place inside and outside of Oak Creek's sick temple of Wisconsin. We're treating this as a domestic terrorist type incident and therefore the FBI has the resources needed to help investigate that. Law enforcement received multiple 911 calls around 1025 Sunday morning. Police say a 20-year veteran of the Oak Creek Police Department exchanged fire with a shooter. The officer was struck multiple times and the gunman later died from another officer's fire. We are grateful for the heroic actions of one of our officers, two of our officers who uh, made a, a very dangerous situation a little bit better and probably saved lives. Flight for Life took to the air and family members gathered on the ground, desperately trying to contact loved ones who could be inside. I called on, on, on his phone, then somebody else answered the phone that he's, he got shot. Somebody just called me from inside, my kids are inside. Some were contacted by panicked relatives inside the temple, hiding in a pantry or closet, warning worshippers about the violence. Yeah, they called us. They called us not to come into Gurdwara, not to come to church. At least 10 were shot, seven were killed, including the shooter. There's dozens watch and wait and hope their loved ones can make it through this terrible scene. The city of Oak Creek is outraged by the senseless act of violence that happened in our city today, and our thoughts and prayers go out to those victims. Jeremy Ross has more on those victims, who they were, and why one of them may have actually helped save some lives before he died. Jeremy. Well, the victims include grandfathers, fathers, and sons, families that are shaken to their core, relying on one another in a time of crisis. The house has become like a place of worship. Shoes line the walkway of a Greenfield home. They're taken off as a sign of respect before entering a house scarred by violence. Oh, the emotions are up and down. I don't wish this on any human. Dozens visit from miles away in states outside of Wisconsin. It's called spreading grief. When one person has to grieve alone, they grieve deeply. When one person grieves with thousands, it's a lot less. The multiple shooting at Oak Creek's Sikh Temple of Wisconsin took half a dozen innocent lives, including 39-year-old Parkesh Singh and Armadik Kaleka's father. Once I knew, it, just, it hits you in the stomach like just a ton of bricks. Those murdered include the temple president, 65-year-old Satwat Singh Kaleka, 41-year-old Sita Singh, 49-year-old Ranjit Singh, 41-year-old Paramjit Kaur, and 84-year-old Suvig Singh Katra. It was amazing when FBI agents come and shake your hand and hug you and say, you know, your father's a hero. Kaleka says his father tried to stop the gunman and died in the process of protecting worshippers and his own wife. The final act of a father allowing for a moment of pride during a time when sorrow is easy to come by. Whatever happened, whatever my dad did, he bought a lot of time for other people. Now I asked some of the family members if they had anger towards the gunman and they told me no. They actually felt sorrow towards him, sorrow for his rage, sorrow for his actions. And we are talking about a police department who's helping out in a federal investigation at the same time tending to their own wounds tonight. An update on one officer's medical condition and also a look at some of the other victims of the shooting and their healing process. Flowers are delivered to the Oak Creek Police Station, including bouquets addressed to Lieutenant Brian Murphy. He was shot several times, ambushed by a gunman who killed six people in and outside of the Sikh Temple of Wisconsin. He's not able to converse, uh, so it's just more of a, you know, you're doing okay, you did a great job, you're a hero. Oak Creek's police chief says Murphy gave him the thumbs up as he receives care in Freighter Hospital, but he's not the only one there. <laughs> And I love him so much, and when I heard it, I couldn't take it. 
So I just started crying. Temple member Karen Deep Chima says Baba, meaning priest, Punjab Singh is also receiving medical care. He's a visiting religious leader from India who would spend blocks of time in the U.S. Now that time is spent fighting for his life. It was hard because... As close friends and family pray for his recovery. It's like, you know, I see him as a father, no different. Chima says in India, Singh would help set up schools for poor orphan children. He's doing it just purely from his heart. A second priest is also at Freydert, the Sikh community keeping both in their thoughts. I pray for him. In the meantime, investigators are learning more about the gunman accused of causing the death and injury. 40-year-old Wade Michael Page had deep roots in the white supremacy movement linked to a band with lyrics referencing the killing of African Americans and Jews. Despite that background, police hesitate to call this a hate crime. We may never know motive because the individual had that motive and we will never be able to ask him what it was.